All right, so there's the driveway that was uh, covered in debris the last time you saw it. Got the yard pretty well cleaned up. Got my dog guarding everything. Hey, Blue. He's funny. And I'm mainly just coming down here to show you some of the progress I made. Last time you saw this, it was completely covered. Um, I don't know if you can see down there at the at the end under the little lean-to, there's a trailer down there that I used for... Well, actually, I'm going to use it next time I use it. It's going to be for moving all this. And uh, and that tree right there was one of them, was the one with the, here, let's, let's show you. That's the one that had all the multiple, had four different, had four different trunks. Maybe it had, it might have even had five. I cut one on the other side that was. Um, anyway, a bunch of these trees are leaning now because the soil where the root ball came up got all disturbed. And, uh, so the, even trees that weren't down are, are, are leaning now, like that small one, just be beyond this bigger one. But this bigger one right here was laying down flat. And as soon as I got those three or four, whatever it is over there, um, trunks, as soon as I got them, then the root ball started, started coming up and bringing this tree back. So I'm going to have to fell this and, and, um, I'm not really looking forward to that. But anyway, this, uh, this right here is, is some of the debris and stuff that we've uh, moved out of the way, but we did get all the trunks where I can get down there and use the trailer. So that was the, the main thing that I needed to do. And uh, I can get to my lawnmower, which is right over there. And I got a little trailer that I can pull behind it to carry my chainsaw and gas and whatever else I need but I got a bunch of big stuff here that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this uh this trunk right here started going up but it didn't start going up until until I cut the last pieces off that are right here um and then something behind it you can see went the other way and then this was the last one right here that we cut. I say we, I've done most of this by myself. I, I have one friend that's come over, I think three days, maybe only two, I'm not even sure. Um, and you know, he's got stuff to do too. So, so I, I, I'm not complaining, but I'm glad for any help I got. But, um, this root ball waited until that last piece right there was, was taken down before it started going back up now it's at an angle and now you, i don't know if you can see it or not but there's there's a small little fence right here and it's going to be kind of hard to cut through this to get rid of it you know to get rid of it completely so i can straighten the fence back up um i'm not sure what i'm going to do about that but anyhow, so I still have all this brush to figure out what I'm going to do with. There's tons of brush down here that just fell out of the trees. You know, just regular old twigs and small branches that fell out. And uh, um, there's some some stuff down behind the shed down there that uh, fell down. I don't care about that. I'm not going to do anything with that. But all this right here is basically either driveway or yard 
and like you can see there's a little bit of yard under there it's not a great yard or anything but but it's usable i don't have to wear boots to to get around it as long as it's cleared but but now there's all this little jungle jive stuff that i gotta move and it's gonna be a pain in the butt um the dog used to come over here to unload but he hasn't been able to get through here, so he's not really sure if this is where he's supposed to go anymore. He's, it's been about, I guess, two or three weeks since since the storm, and I've just been plugging away a little bit at a time. So I just wanted to show you some of the progress we made. Come on, Blue, going back in the house. And uh, give you a little perspective on what country living's all about. <laughs> By the way, this uh, this wood is awesome wood. It's uh, oak, and I don't have any wood burning, uh, you know, he heaters or, or fireplaces or anything. So uh, I'm gonna try to give give all this away to anybody who needs it. And they're gonna have to haul it though. So, but I got tons of it, and I'll have more by the time I get all this done. I'm getting a tool in either tomorrow or Monday. I'm not sure which, but I'm getting a tool in that'll, it's called a, a PV hook that will allow me to get under the, under the log here and tip it up and get it off the ground so that I can just cut sections off of the, the ends, you know. So looking forward to that. Be a lot less lifting. And uh, I, I still got to fell all these trees that are leaning because they're going to come down. This one, this skinny one right here, I don't know if you can follow it up there, but it is leaning against that other tree, the slightly thicker one. So... It's already ready to come down. And uh, this one is not far away. It keeps going up and down. So it's it's pretty well counterbalanced. Um, and I can probably get a rope on it and pull it back down where I can cut some. Might be able to pull it down with the truck or something. I don't know. Anyhow, anybody knows anybody that needs a whole bunch of firewood? And they're anywhere near South Al Southeast Alabama, and they want to come over and get it, tell them to get a hold of me. Blue Stringer out. <laughs>